Russo'sBrand.com, where the pros are the pros. I want to talk about uh, right off the bat, because we've been talking about this for years. I, I specifically have been talking about this for years. So I'm sure you talked about it uh, when, when the, the, the head of Fox came out and said they're not, they're not renewing, right? Right. And bro, how many times have I been saying advertising executives, you know, are and, and more so with AEW, not, not so much WWE, but it still is, you know, when you, you watch, you're watching the shows and you're looking at the live crowd, it's like there's no way that like the advertising is going to say like these people have a lot of money to spend our products. Right. Like it's just been, it's been crazy that like you know the the WWE you know was, you gotta give Nick Khan a lot of credit negotiated these exorbitant TV rights deals because you were looking at going, there's no way people are making money on this you know what I'm saying because wrestling fans buy wrestling products and go to wrestling shows and they're not really interested in that much else right you know like and they all look the same and it's like that's why like the podcast you know advertise grooming products and. You know, mental health products. You know, I mean, like, you, you know, it's just, it's not like, you know, you, you know, like, like BMW, and, you know, stuff or like, you know, I mean, but, but like, but that was kind of inevitable, but like, it was funny listening to the guy echo what I've been saying. Right. You, you know, and it's like, you know, it just shows. And the, the one, one thing that was interesting is I, I think that, like, in the, in the comment that he said, it's kind of like not so much like the viewership numbers. It's like more specifically the type of people that they're drawing to, to the yeah. product. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like, so that's the one problem as wrestling has navigated its way towards this nerdy culture. This is you're the base of your fans. You know what I'm saying? We've always tried to say you need to grow outside this nerdy fan base and go, go to the casual audience. But it just shows you that this fan base with the dirt sheets and the narratives and stuff and everything. They've, they've got a stranglehold on this business. It's very difficult for a fan to start engaging in wrestling and start watching everything because all they you got to do is go online for five minutes and look like, well, what's wrong with these people, these wrestling fans? You, you know, you look at the comments yeah. on Twitter, you know, go, go ahead. But Glenn, the bottom line is this. What, what you're saying is 1,000% true. But here's the problem, bro. They're still catering to those fans okay. that you're talking about. No, no, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Because, Go ahead. You know, because I think this is re a relevant point. All right. And this is more specific to WWE. We can dissect the shows each week and we can talk about the ratings and stuff and all that. Right. But if you're doing record business, your shows are selling out and your buy rates and mar merchandise is doing great. It's like, how many more fans do you need to attract? It's like, you're kind of like, you, you, you're kind of like, the, you're putting on a product right now that like is tapping out to, to, to this fan base and they're, and they're maxing out. Now, you, you, you can't rest on your laurels. You always have to try, but like right now, it's like, you know, you look at the numbers and you're wondering like, geez, it's kind of weird how they're, they're doing so well in all the other metrics. Because we said all along, the one metric that they don't do very well in is the TV ratings. You know, like like everything else that we you can't criticize them for, right? And I'm just wondering if maybe because the viewing habits of fans have changed, where you can go on YouTube and you know, you could read Jason Powell's report of the show. You can go on YouTube and find the clips of the stuff that you liked, and your your viewing experience of the show itself or, or the weekly product in professional wrestling takes like 15 minutes. Not three hours, not two hours. You're having to sit there, watch it with commercial stuff. You know, there's there's other ways. And I think a lot of wrestling fans, that's what they're doing because I'm one of them. Bro, I have not sat through a show like like a straight three-hour raw. I've not sat from a start to finish three-hour raw. You unfortunately have to do it every week. God rest your you know, you may your God have mercy on you for like having to having to endure that process. You don't know, watch professional wrestling for three hours straight, but uh but like a, I think a lot of people share the same viewing habits. A lot of the fans that don't really watch the show full anymore, but like they find out that, you know, hey, the WWE pay-per-view is coming to town and Roman's wrestling, you know, The Rock or somebody, you know, they, they might go buy a ticket and go see the show because they're still kind of lifelong wrestling fans, but they just don't engage in it like they used to back when the numbers were great. You know what I'm saying? 